beautiful, so stunning. My first question, if I had to personally ask you one, is आपकी खूबसूरती का राज क्या है? But that's that's for another time. We we'll stick. I think tonight I should say diamonds are a girl's best friend. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. And we like many best friends. <laughs> we like multiple best friends. But first, I mean, we're here. It's a room full of talent. What would you like to say about just the talent that we have right here, the entries that have come in? What what a great platform. I couldn't agree with you more. I'd, I'd like to thank GJPC uh, for having me as a part of this jewelry because uh, I'm so fond of jewelry. I always have been. But to be a part of this entire judging process, um, I felt like it was a privilege that I had to be able to see so many different designs, so much creativity. Each designer has interpreted the theme in their own way. And you know, we had a judging process where, uh, yeah, it was all fun and games, but you know, you had to have a look at the pieces, you had to wear them, you had to touch for wearability and creativity and how well it's translated from the drawing to the actual piece. And to see that kind of talent, uh, the way people think out of the box and uh, how there is so much craftsmanship and fi finesse and those details in small pieces. I think jewelry is, uh, is a medium in which you can explore so much creativity, but having that finesse and uh, a very solid vision is what the Artisan Awards have been able to give so many designers. So I think tonight is about celebrating them. So give yourselves a round of applause. Uh, how do you incorporate jewelry into your fashion choices? I mean, are you bold with your jewelry? Are you conservative? Are you experimental? Jewelry for me, I think, is is uh, my my taste or my preference is something that is timeless. If I can wear it today and my daughter can wear it 20 years later, I think uh, that's a good investment. I do look at jewelry from that point of view. It's not an accessory for me because there is something precious. There is inherent value, uh, and through the value chain, right from the stone till when it reaches a final piece. So my choices are those that can move with me through the various phases and stages of my life, um, and those pieces that I can wear again and again. So you know, uh, it's interesting to get a fun pair of earrings, but how many times will I be able to wear that? You know, so then I would look at maybe a diamond necklace that I can wear with a dress, with a shirt, with an outfit like this, an Indian piece. And of course, you know, a wedding set is something that you make a very conscious decision on. So what I bought for my wedding is something I'd happily give my daughter or even wear to her wedding. Wow. So I think jewelry, in my opinion, is something that should be timeless. I couldn't agree more. Speaking of timeless jewelry, do you have any one such piece that is your most cherished pair? I mean, that's something that you, if you, if you could only be left with one pair of something, what that would that be? That day never comes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think um, two maybe. One is obviously my wedding ring. Okay. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ever want to lose it. I wouldn't ever want to do away with it yeah. because there's a memory attached to it. And uh, I think it signifies love and it signifies unity and uh, I love to wear it every day. Um, so of course my wedding ring, but also if I was to pick something that is a little unconventional, uh, on my wedding day I wore a jumar and uh, I just found that it, it added some, a completely different dimension to the way that I looked and it's also just so feminine and uh, Again, it's something that I would love to pass on to my daughter. Wonderful. What's your approach to incorporating trends into your personal style? I'm not trend focused. I, I have like, a, I, I think I have a pretty set uh, dressing sense. You know, I like to be very classic and minimal so that I can wear the same things again and again for several years. Um, so yeah, my dressing sense, I, I don't think I'm very experimental. That is it. Okay, and one last question. What's your favorite thing about being part of the Artisan Awards? I think to be able to see uh, so many different iterations of the same concept 
um, to see young talent get a platform to be recognized, to be connected with people like, you know, to, for me to, for me as a jewelry aficionado to be able to see these kind of pieces come out of our country because, you know, um, many of us might have coffee table books and they're all famous jewelry houses uh, from the West. You have House of Cha, Cartier, Bulgari. Um, but do we have something like that in India? And I think the Artisan Awards is that first step to creating a design sense or a design house or that one star jewelry designer that could be recognized from India that is celebrating Indian workmanship, craftsmanship and the story that we have to tell as India, you know, uh, on the canvas of jewelry. So I feel that the Artisan Awards is such a great platform to connect artisans as well as the public and I hope to be associated with it for many years to come. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Thank you so much for having jewelry के बारे में अगर हम सोचेंगे तो celebration हमारे culture में हम jewelry तब लेते हैं जब घर में कुछ celebrate करने का मौका मिलता है शादी है बच्चा पैदा हुआ है exam में अच्छे marks मिले हैं first birthday 18 birthday तो of course jewelry के बारे में you ask me, I would say celebration and I think that jewellery is a celebration of India, it's a celebration of our culture and uh, going forward it's it's going to be that balance between the tradition as well as how we see uh, modernity progress and so jewellery is timeless whether it was 100 years ago or 100 years from now. Um, she loves jewelry. I mean, I'm when, not we were, <laughs> when we were judging, you know, the things that were beautiful, they were all good for me. Every way. In fact, one piece I really liked, which was Art of Print, mein hu, uh, the, the, the winning piece was by Mr. Bhautik. A pair of uh, elephants with gold filigree work and I wore that for the NMACC opening. Uh, that, that piece was absolutely beautiful and that was very striking but uh, my personal preference is definitely uh, minimal uh, wo, wo pieces jo aap dubara pehen sakte hain 10 saal baad pehen sakte hain bachcho ko de sakte hain pieces which are timeless which have value and i aapne itne sa sare pieces to dekh liye jewelry ke the first runner up finder sare hmm. pieces aapka kya opinion hai like uh, sare jo design जब मुझे बुलाया गया और जब मैं एक्चुअली मैंने जूरी के हिस्से से ये सब जज किया, I think मुझे इतना उस वक्त रियलाइजेशन हुआ कि इतने सारे डिजाइन्स, यूनिक डिजाइन्स, नए नए डिजाइन्स और थॉट प्रोसेस ऐसे हो सकते हैं, हो सकते हैं क्योंकि आप कुछ बोलेंगे आर्ट ऑफ प्रिंट, आर्ट ऑफ एब्स्ट्रैक्शन हर डिजाइनर अपना अपनी सोच को ड्रॉ करके और फिर मैन्युफैक्चर करता है एंड इट्स सो इंटरेस्टिंग टू सी व्हाट एवरीबॉडीज़ पॉइंट ऑफ़ यू इज़ अगर बोलेंगे आर्ट ऑफ़ स्कल्पचर किसी ने एक तरीके का पीस बनाया है किसी ने दूसरे तरीके का पीस बनाया आर्ट ऑफ़ प्रिंट में किसी ने एक बड़ा हैवी पीस बनाया था एलिफेंट्स के साथ किसी ने बहुत फाइन फिलिग्री वर्क किया था तो जो देखने को मिला वो ये था कि टैलेंट भरपूर है और आर्टिजन अवार्ड्स और जीजीपी सी के साथ में ये जो डिजाइनर्स हैं उनको मौका मिलेगा सब को दिखाने को कि उनके उनका कितना टैलेंट है। लास्ट क्वेश्चन जो है, एनी मैसेज फॉर द अपकमिंग आर्टिस्ट, एनी मैसेज फॉर द नेक्स्ट जेन जो आप देना चाहें। आई थिंक शांति सेड इट वेरी वेल, बी फील्ड इस, बिकॉज़ डिजाइन doesn't come out of 
staying within the lines and uh, thinking from within the box. You have to think outside of the box. Especially when it comes to jewellery, we have such a rich uh, treasure trove of gems and diamonds, uh, precious stones, coloured stones, workmanship. Uh, but design is something that we at this time require and that unique design and thought that comes from being fearless so i would say be fearless and anyone who has beautiful designs i love jewelry so i'd love to to see whatever you have there to me बहुत मानते हैं आज हमको जो दिख रहा है हमने हम दोनों जब थे जूरी में हमको दो घंटे लगे थे सारे डिजाइन देखने को कि है और हमारा जो जजिंग का जो स्कीम था वर्कमैनशिप डिजाइन वेरिएबिलिटी ट्रांसलेशन फ्रॉम स्केच टू एक्चुअल डिजाइन वो सब जो हमने देखा कि कितने सारे थे और एक्चुअली सबको सब करना कि विच आर द फाइनलिस्ट वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो आई थिंक टूडे एट दी आर्टिज इन वॉज वॉट वी गेट टू सी इज दैट देर इज इमेंस टैलेंट वी जस्ट हैव टू फाइंड इट एंड गिव दैम द राइट प्लेटफॉर्म बिल्कुल जो भी इतना इतनी अच्छी हो इनकी भाषा इतनी सुंदर है अब कमांड निखिल नहीं आई थिंक देखिए अब हिंदुस्तान तो अब जाग गया है कुछ सालों से और जब कोई देश जागता है उसकी हर कोने तक आवाज़ आती है दुनिया के तो आई थिंक पहले आईटी का माहौल था कि आईटी इंडिया से यू नो ब्रेन वेव जा रहा था फिर अब कुछ सालों पहले फैशन हुआ ऑफ़ कोर्स क्रिकेट इज ऑलवेज बिन देर अब ज्वेलरी का एक नया दौर शुरू होने वाला है सो आई थिंक इंडिया जाग गया और उसकी हमें अहमियत पाँच साल बाद और नजर आई हम बस इस प्रतिभा के अंदर रहे तो बहुत अच्छा रहेगा आगे जाके नहीं आप आप जो कर रहे हैं जिस तरीके से डिज़ाइन कर रहे हैं कंटिन्यू डूइंग दैट क्योंकि uh, हम सब यहाँ पे देखना चाहते हैं कि नए डिज़ाइन नया टैलेंट नई सोच क्या है uh, सब ये ये uh, खोज है तो uh, जो डिज़ाइनर्स हैं जो ज्वेलरी हाउसेज हैं जिन्होंने ये सारे डिज़ाइंस को एक्चुअली मैनुफैक्चर किया है और डिज़ाइनर्स को सपोर्ट किया है Uh, आज हम सब एक कमरे में सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं तो डेफिनेटली देर इज़ पोटेंशियल फॉर द ज्वेलरी इंडस्ट्री आई डोंट थिंक देर इज़ पोटेंशियल दैट पोटेंशियल हैज़ ऑलरेडी बीन अनलॉक्ड इट्स जस्ट द टाइम द टाइम नाउ इज़ टू सेलिब्रेट ज्वेलरी थैंक यू